So when you look at AI and where we've we've done the phase one of digital public infrastructure. Now that AI is coming in, how do you expand the use cases on scale for our usage as a con developing country? Well, I think DPI and AI are complementary. Uh, DPI has laid the foundation in terms of large systems, a lot of data, all of which are required for the AI. And uh, so AI will, will be built on top of DPI and DPI in turn will get turbocharged by AI. So it's, 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 a, it's a very synergistic uh, relationship. And I think what DeepSeek has done, I think, which is very important, is they have shown that you don't need billions of dollars to create a, a you know, reasonably good large language model. So I think that's the big breakthrough. And they've also published uh, the entire how they did it. So I think the, that's very important. You know, they've been very open about it. So I think now the uh, barrier to entry of creating these AI models has significantly come down. And I know that the government of India is very focused on that AI, Indian, India AI mission. And I think you will see in the next one year some very significant uh, models coming from India. So uh, you, have, you had said recently that India shouldn't really invest significantly in foundational models or LLMs. Uh, let the big boys in Silicon Valley do that. Let the guys with the chips do that. We should focus on AI for all, for uh, application on top of that. Have you changed your mind? No, I think it's really at what price point. Would I spend a billion dollars building a large language model? No. But if I can deliver a large language model in 50 million, sure, why not? So it's also about the, the you know, the fact is that the, the technology is moving so quickly that it's dropping in price, it's becoming more efficient. So there is a time at which, and frankly, LLMs will be commodities. See, they're not, mm. it's not really, there'll be, you can already see that. Every day there's a new announcement of somebody or the other. So it's going to be a race of all the people, and I think, now we can actually build uh, models, but we, we should not take our eye off the ball, mm. which is how is this useful to society? What is it going to do that makes a difference? So I think if, if we can do an LLM for 50 million, I would recommend that we do it. Several people in the tech world have come and said that they, they disagree with your previous view on LLMs. Do you, how do you, do you want to respond no, no. to that? I, or, I was saying that. Oh, that's context. too simplistic. See, if you look at the big, big four guys, between them, they're spending $300 billion on building up their compute and AI and buying chips from NVIDIA and all that. All I said was, we don't need to get into that thing that right now we use AI to quickly make it work. Because see, making it work is tough. And when the models become commodities, then we can always build a model, which is exactly what is happening. So there's nothing, that, all I'm saying is there's a time and space for it. You don't go, start by spending billions of dollars building a model without a use case in mind. You use existing technology, make it work, learn how to use it, and then as the technology prices collapse, you build it yourself. 